you said in your response that when you present images to the as a challenge to the individual to validate their their identity there are times where you will stitch together multiple frames on a street level in order to provide a more full picture to the individual being challenged so that they can stitch together a memory and be able to correctly identify something versus another. And we talked about how timeline plays a role in this. And my question to you is, the images that present themselves, if they are even 12 months behind current status, they're not going to look anything like where that person is familiar with. Or if the question is 12 or more months in the past, we have to have that understanding that, again, things are going to be completely different. How do we solve the temporal issue? Yeah, I mean, great question. Um, and there's a couple of things that, that we do. I mean, you mentioned one thing is the stitching of together images to create the, the panoramic, which does help if not too much has changed. But if we're talking about an entire area has maybe been re redeveloped, brand new building, apartments, et cetera. Um, when we generate and when we use our AI to go and pull together images, we can see when, for example, Google um, Street View last generated the image. So we can see that actually, if it's if it's not changed for a long time, then that's maybe okay to use. If it if it's a new image has been created or generated and put onto Google Street View in the last twelve months, well, actually we can compare the two images and look and see that the hash and see has it changed much. So that's you know one thing that we we can do. That won't solve all situations, but there are there are things we can do there. Um, the other. Uh, thing that we've we've not talked about up until now, and this is going to kind of um, be something new but related. Um, one of the things that we're we're building and, and experimenting with is actually taking an image that people should know that hasn't changed. So let's say a downtown area or, or a historic um, place, or maybe your own house or whatever, and then actually using deep fake technology to change something in that image, and then asking you what's changed. So if I change the color of your garage door, or if I um, put a statue in the in the image that you know, if I put a, a statue from Paris in um, downtown Austin, would you look at that and go, that shouldn't be there, mm. right? So we've got to be creative in how we 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 kind of build challenges in that respect. So it doesn't have to be all about Google Street, you know, view is the the, the only option here. Um, there are other creative ways that we're building and working on to actually tackle that. And in the example you gave, which, you know, is quite extreme because there is a little bit of, you know, things don't change overnight, right? Um, there, so there is a little bit of giving that. But if if not, then we can look at these other methods that we're developing as well.